Hi there, this is a special edition for the Victorian Department of Education Internet Access Device for Remote Learning During the COVID-19 Crisis. The Alcatel 3T10. Please note some of the steps covered in this might have already been done for you by the school. So this is how the device comes. There may be a second package with the SIM in it as well. You'll have to slice the security tag and then open it up and slide it out using the tab provided. The actual tablet itself will be in a little bag to protect it, but that's not on this one. So we'll get the tablet out and then underneath that you will see the speaker slash stand, which you'll need to get out. Try not to put your fingers down in the side because that's where the speaker cones are and they can be damaged if you're not careful. The department has provided a full set of instructions for you that look like this. The first step is to install the SIM, which may have come separately. It's a little card. You'll need to pop out the smallest part of the card so that it looks like this. Be careful, it's tiny. Place the tablet face down on a kind surface. I'm using an old mouse mat. At the top you'll see a little panel that looks different to everything else. And there's a little notch there where you can just get a fingernail underneath it to flip it up. If you don't have any fingernails, you can probably just use the SIM itself. There's two slots in this area, one for a micro SD card and one nearest the top of the tablet is where the SIM card goes. You want to put the Telstra symbol facing up and slide it in until you feel it clicking. If you ever need to get it out again, you can push it in just a little, it will click and pop out. Make sure it's clicked in tight and then replace the cover. Then you can flip the tablet over and turn it on. And if you get a start button, click it to get started. At the connect to Wi-Fi screen, ignore any Wi-Fi connections that may actually be available and click the use mobile network for setup. At the possible data charges screen, just click continue. You don't want to copy any apps or data over from another Android phone. So select don't copy. At the Google sign in screen, you can either skip this or if you're using a school Google account, you can actually sign in with that now and accept the terms and conditions. And then there may be another skip depending on which way you went and possibly more terms and conditions to accept. At the protect your tablet screen, click not now. There's probably no need to put a pin on this device. Yes, it prompts you again, click skip anyway. The tablet's now ready for use and you can set up the Wi-Fi hotspot. Swipe up from the bottom to get the full list of icons and click the green settings icon and then select network and internet. Then select the hotspot and tethering menu. Turn the Wi-Fi hotspot on. Give it a name. And then enter a password that you'll remember. The password has to be at least eight characters. Then hit the back button up the top left, which should take you back to the setup screen, where it says zero devices connected. You can then go to your device, Chromebook, laptop, whatever it is, go to the Wi-Fi settings, click the name of the network that you selected, type in your password, and click OK. On the tablet, it should then say, one device is connected. Well done, you've got an internet connection. What you'll do from here depends on how good the 4G reception is in your area. Mine isn't great, so I need to get the tablet up as high as possible, but somewhere still safe. In this case, it means not putting it in the dock. It will actually stand on my TARDIS, right up against the ceiling, making sure I've got a decent signal so that it can broadcast the Wi-Fi around the house. Of course, I have to also make sure it gets power. You can plug that in in the bottom here. If your connection's better, you can probably just sit it on your desk or the bench in its own dock. Setting up the dock isn't as easy as it looks. You can see here the three main parts of the dock. The rubber foot along the bottom, the docking connector itself, and this door that opens up with the connectors inside. There's a dedicated power socket, a micro USB charging socket, and a micro SD card that you could play music off. Because yes, this is just a speaker. 
The other important part when using this as a dock is the arm that covers these ports. It needs to be locked in the outward position because that's the stand that keeps the dock in place. Turn the tablet sideways, find the gold connector on the bottom and dock that in to the docking station. When you do, it'll prompt you to set up the Bluetooth speaker. To do that, you'll need to turn it on with the very right hand button. Just press and hold it for a second until it turns on and then you'll be able to pair the tablet to the speaker. The tablet doesn't actually need to be on the speaker to use. It's just more convenient that way. If you find the hotspot turning off, just pull down twice from the top of the screen and tap the hotspot icon. It should be green when it's active. I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything I've missed. The Tech Doctor exists to teach you about technology especially parents, students and teachers during this difficult time. There's some episodes you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click the subscribe button down here, you'll never miss any of the future episodes. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.